Okay, this is an example of a stoichiometry uh, problem. And in this stoichiometry problem, I'm going to show you about using the uh, factor label method and a little flow chart that I like to use. So I think this is a good problem solving strategy when you have um, stoichiometry problems. So in this problem, we have this reaction. So this tells us that four molecules of NH3. NH3 is the formula for ammonia. So ammonia is going to react with oxygen five oxygen molecules to produce four nitrogen monoxide molecules, NO, and six water molecules. So let's imagine that we know we have formed three grams, or let's say we want to make three grams of NO. So how many grams, question mark, of oxygen will we need? Um, note that this G here right here means grams, whereas this G up here is just telling us that this molecule is in the gas phase. It's a gas, not a solid or a liquid or an aqueous dissolved in water. So we want to know how many grams of O2 can we make. All right, so here's our procedure for doing that. You've already seen an example of some of these. So I'm going to kind of go through. So our first step is to remember that when we have a chemical equation, that these numbers, these coefficients up here, what do they mean? Well, they're counts of molecules or you can count things in terms of moles. So this means four moles of NH3 reacts with five moles of O2 to produce four moles of NO and six moles of H2O. So our first step, because we can't talk about things in grams, is to convert everything into moles. So our first step, we want to know how many moles of NO do we have if we have three grams. All right, so this is a little flow chart that I'm doing that's going to help us figure these things out. So what am I going to need to go from grams of NO to moles of NO? Well, to do that, I'm going to need the molar mass of um, NO. So I'm going to write capital MM for molar mass. So I'm going to need the molar mass there, the grams per mole of NO, in order to do that calculation. Now then, what's the next step? Well, now I'm trying to figure out this question mark, but I can't do it yet in grams. So as a first step, I'm going to draw a little flow chart arrow going over here. So I need to figure out underneath this O2, so this is like a column heading right here, how many grams, how many moles, excuse me, of O2 will I have? So over here, this is moles of NO. And I need to know how many moles of O2 there are. Well, we know what that answer is from this chemical equation. So how do I convert from moles of NO to moles of O2? Well, right here it tells us that for every four moles of NO, I have five moles of O2. So I can use that stoichiometric ratio, that's what we call it. So there's a, a four NO to five, so that's a little two dots of colon symbol right there, to 5 O2. So we can use that stoichiometric ratio to convert from moles of NO to moles of O2. And then finally, our last step in my flow chart is to go from moles of O2 to grams of O2. And we can do that by just using the molar mass, in this case, of O2, right? So this is going to be a different number for O2 than it was for NO. And again, that's going to have units of grams per mole. All right, so here's our plan. So by using a chart like this, you can find your way from wherever you want to go in a stoichiometry equation. So we have a plan with steps. So now we're going to implement these steps using the factor label method. So I'm going to scroll down just a little bit more, give us some room. OK, so where do we start? We start here with 3 grams. So factor label method, every factor has a label. In this case, it's going to be grams of NO. So now I'm going to have a conversion factor for my first step. So I want to get rid of the grams of NO, so that gram is going to go away. And I'm going to write NO just so I can keep track of what I'm talking about. And I'm going to, I want to know how many moles of NO, so that's my first step. So I need some ratio relationship between grams and moles. So I can go to the periodic table, look up the mass of nitrogen, look up the mass of oxygen, add those together, that's going to get me the molar mass of NO. And it turns out it's 30.006. So I'm just going to go with 30. 30.01 to four significant figures. So 30.01 grams of NO. So what I have now is 3 divided by 30. All right, so that's this step right here. I've gone from grams to moles of NO. So now I need to go from moles of NO to moles of O2. So that's another conversion factor. So here's another set of parentheses. Now what do I want to do? I want to get rid of moles of NO, so that needs to go downstairs. And I want the unit moles of O2. 
because that's what I'm trying to convert, moles of NO to moles of O2. Now from the stoichiometry up here, I see the 4 goes next to the moles of NO, right, because I make 4 moles of NO for every 5 moles of O2 that I produce, right there. Now I've done that step. Now my last step, which I can have one more conversion factor, is to convert from uh, moles of O2 into grams of O2. So I want to get grams of O2, so that goes up here, and I'm trying to get rid of the mole of O2 unit. So that needs to go downstairs. So how do I figure out this ratio? Well, I go to the periodic table, look up the mass of oxygen, and I need two of them to make an O2 molecule. So that's going to be 32 grams per every one mole of O2. So 32 grams. So what is all this telling me that I need to do in my calculator? Take 3, multiply it by 1, multiply it by 5, multiply it by 32. Then divide that by 30.01, then divide that by 4, and then you'll get the answer. And you can check that all your units cancel out. Grams of NO cancel out, moles of NO cancel out, moles of O2 cancel out, and you're left with the right unit, grams of O2. That's the question, remember, that we were trying to answer. All right, so let me bring my calculator back up here and we'll clear that from my last video. All right, so let's do this calculation. So 3.00 uh, times 5 times 32 equals that. Now we need to do our division, so we're going to divide by 30.01. See what that equals, and then we're going to divide by 4. See what that equals. All right, so that gets a number that's about 4, so 3.99. Actually, we'll just say 4. 4.00 grams of O2. All right, so if you have 3 grams of NO, how many grams of O2 is it going to take to react to make that? You're going to need about 4 grams. Sorry, my 4 looks a little wonky there. So 4 grams of O2. So that's how we can use the factor label method to um, calculate um, a stoichiometry problem.